everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a very fun skincare routine nothing to do with the makeup tutorials that I would typically do I just wanted to do something different but before you guys continue to watch please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to be part of my family or whatever we want to call it at this point uh, so with that being said please continue to watch all right let's get started on skincare routine I usually wax at home just because one obviously it saves money and number two shh, sorry it's my cat number two it's actually very easy to use and me being Arabian from how much I need to wax on like a monthly basis it could get pretty pricey for me that's why I just kind of learned it to do it at home I buy all the I bought the basically the base from the perfect sculpt I think this was like 20 bucks I bought it like a year and a half ago and then I just continued to refill the wax from Amazon and buy it back for like five bucks and last me about a good three months um and that's it and then I do my my weekly masks and stuff so I'm gonna go over it with you guys to show you what I usually do just because my skin used to be super bad oh so like about a year and a half ago as you can see I still have pimples so it hasn't completely gone away but it's gotten better over time just because waxing kind of takes off all the dead skin all the oils and that's like sits in your skin even though you put mask and do with the black mask and all that stuff waxing just kind of rips it all out of your skin and I just find it much healthier for my particular skin type but because out of all the pimples and stuff kind of reduce down much faster even though they're not gone, but they have reduced down more than it has been two years ago. I'll try to find a picture to see if I could show you guys how I used to, how my face used to look, but it's gotten better. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what I do. I wax my mustache, my nose, my sideburns, as you can see here, and my neck. That's what I usually wax. Yes, I'm a very, very person. I don't care. Judge me all you want. So I kind of heated up my wax already, so you could see. Boom. Ah. and then so for my face what I do first I just kind of wash it off with water I don't put anything on it yet just because after you wax I will show you a tutorial of what I do just make sure the skin stays soft and you don't get like all the all the pimples afterwards so I typically start with my nose first just because I want to get the hairs out of there <laughs> so I take two q-tips Put them into the wax and kind of roll it around so it make sure that there's no drips on me or my skin. And then I just go into my nose. And there's always going to be some coming out, so I kind of hold it up with my finger so it doesn't really fall anywhere that I don't want it to fall. Doesn't matter how little you put, there's still going to be fallout coming out from it just because you're putting it in a hole. Huh, that's what she said. Thanks Nike for these shirts by the way. I actually, they're not sponsoring me by any means. I have don't have enough followers to do that. But um, I did get this when we went to the Laker game. Uh, what was it? Last, I think it was last year. Um, they had the shirts just sitting on the seats so I just grabbed one and left. Alright. So now when you feel that it's dressed kind of like solid obviously. Hold it from the tips. Like I usually hold it from right here, just so I can get a good grip on it. Ow. As I said, the initial shock, but then after that, you're good. And doesn't leave any any left behind on your skin that you have to take off by yourself. And just the fact that you could actually do it at home could save you a good chunk of money, because. I know like there's a lot of wax estheticians and they, they do a very great job because they kind of do like a mask and stuff afterwards depending on what you're paying for. But honestly, the minute I saw how much money I was saving, I thought why not just do it at home because I do self care and I'm, I have the resources to do it and it's much cheaper. I think I, from wax estheticians, you go from paying like $200, depending on obviously who you go to, um, to all this that I'm going to show you guys today, I went down to 50 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. Ooh. Now that's done, next we have a mustache. It's usually helpful to have like a stick, oops, like these. So make sure you have, there's smaller ones that you can get as well, but depending on the area that you're going for, um, since it's a large service area, I'd rather just go for this and it will cover my whole mustache for me. If you hear that, that's my dog. 
Oh, with her squeeze toy. I recently adopted a pit bull, if you guys were wondering. All right, so I kind of twist it around so I get nothing like falling out. And then, just right on the mustache area. And I kind of bring it down just to get all that extra, what is that, peach fuzz. Then I go on the other side. It's not as pretty as you would see on those wax videos, but does the job. Alright, then I feel that it's a little harder or it to cool down just a little bit more. When you peel it off, you kind of want to, I'm going to peel this right here. It's the opposite of the hair growth. Just because when you pull on the same hair growth it is, it's not going to pull everything out. When you pull on the opposite way, it pulls all the hair out. For the most part. You still have some left. Ah. See? Ta da! Move the leftovers. Give you a close up. Mm -hmm. See? I have a little bit left here. But nothing a little more can do. As you can see, your skin gets a little more irritated. So after the fact, I'll show you what I do because I put just a little bit of argan oil, depending on what kind of oil you use on your face. Something to moisturize it because your skin does get a little irritated. All right, next, put my hair back a little bit. Sideburns. This is one, this is one of the things I've always need to take care of just because I'm so embarrassed by it. I, I know it's natural and I'm Arabian and stuff, but it's, it just so it gets so thick. Sometimes I feel like I'm a man. So I was make, I'm always self-conscious about this area to make sure it's always like clean and dandy. Once I see a little bit of hair on it, I'm like, oh, I gotta wax, I gotta wax, I gotta wax. It drives me crazy. All right. Yeah, waxing at home is actually not that hard. You just gotta learn the temperatures. So that's why I always keep it on a medium to keep it tacky. And the tools that you need, just, it's all very cheap, like this little wood thing here. Or if you have, you prefer a plastic one to, to keep using, it's up to you. I rather just throw these away because the wax is just kind of hard to get off. It's not worth the time. Um, and then making sure there's nothing, like there's no moisturizer on your skin. Just That's because when you put moisturizer, the wax is not going to stick to the hair. And you're pretty much just wasting your time or wasting wax for nothing. And then... Just kind of have some mask and stuff that you would want to use after the fact to make sure your skin is kind of all soft and the way you want it to be after you wax. Just the initial purchase of everything. Haha. Ah. Ha. Oh, that's a lot of hair. That's disgusting. Sorry. <laughs> I kind of let it grow out for this video actually. So don't mind me. A little on the hairier side. So do you guys wax at home? Have you ever tried it? Or do you have any other ways that you like to wax? Let me know in the comments because I'm actually talking to a camera so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'd love to get to know you guys a little bit more so let me DM me if you like. I have an Instagram page, a Facebook page, and a Snapchat so if you'd like to message me there Please let me know. I'd love to get to know you guys a little bit more and talk about different skin types or you just want to talk. I would love to get to know the people that are actually watching my videos. Please and thank you. Alright, so I'm going to finish up my neck area and then we're going to come back and do the mask, the whatever I do with my nose for blackheads and stuff, and then we'll finish it off. Thank you guys. Oh, we'll finish it off. We'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. All wax stuff. It's super smooth now. <laughs> Alright, next step, uh, I am going to do a mask. The one I got is from Glam Glow. This is the mud mask. So I have this little spoolie, not spoolie, I'm sorry, this little spatula thing so I could kind of put it onto my face. It's one of the little samplers just because I got it with my Sephora points. My birthday is coming up, so they're going to give me an extra or oh, some more Glam Glow gifts. Ooh, it's pearl, it's so pretty. Okay, 
Because I think this is just for one use, one time use. At least I get, get to give it a try. I've tried stuff from Glamwell before and I've actually liked them a lot. Their stuff, their products are very good. So I have no complaints with their products. I have, yet, I have used other kinds of masks, like one from Briori, one from Neutrogena, or even like scrubs and stuff. I was trying to see the stuff that I could afford too because Glam Glow could get a little bit a little more pricey for my taste. Always, always, always put a mask after you're waxing just because it soothes the skin. This one is supposed to soothe, uh, remove any kind of dead skin that I left behind or any kind of leftover wax that I left on there. Well, it doesn't say wax, but you know, any kind of leftover stuff residuals that you have left. Okay, so that kind of takes care of the mask. Throw this away, put on the Biore, and then look back into the mist. So the Biore strips that I use are charcoal. These are ones that remove like blackheads or any kind of clogged pores that you have on your nose. All right, so with this little napkin here, and with the nose area. Next, you peel this off. And there's like little, little cuts that you kind of have to tear apart. So you usually start with the tip right here, then like you kind of squeeze it on with your fingers in the area that you want it to be. So it starts soft and then it kind of hardens up and you have to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes. I kind of leave it on for 15 minutes just to make sure it kind of sticks to everything that I want it to. So I'll see you guys when I get back. All right, time to take this off. Ugh. Ugh. So I kind of took out some of like the blackheads that I have here. Uh, so, so I still have a couple more minutes on mask. And then that should be it. <laughs> Let me see how much time I got left. Two more minutes. All right, so now it's just time to peel this off. All right, to remove the remaining, I'm gonna get a little makeup wipe here. I let my face relax a little bit before I actually wash it with my, like the, my normal soap, my daily stuff. So for now, I'm gonna wipe it down and put some argan oil on my face. Argan oil has a lot of benefits, which is great for all kinds of skin. Um, it makes it softer, obviously. Um, it, it fills up your face with like, moisture and uh what, what else it's like strengthens your skin removes kind of wrinkles over time so it's so, it kind of something you get with like olay and stuff because most of the moisturizers have oils in them this one's just really good for your skin it's just just the pure oil all right so the one i'm using is from jose moran 100 percent pure Mar argan oil Bam. sometimes i use this in my foundation too but most of the time i use it in my skincare routine. So you pump little droplets. Into the pores. Into your forehead. Into the neck area. I'll remove the rest of the mask later. Even into your eyelids here, but don't get it in like into your eye. <sighs> and voila! And that's pretty much a fit, uh, that's a that's pretty much the whole tutorial of how I do my skincare. I do wax, as I said, about twice a month, but the rest of my skincare routine I do every week. I do a mask, I do the Biore, and then I do my normal cleaning, which I will show probably in another video. Uh, but that's just normal, you know, your normal soap toner and then moisturizers. There's not really nothing special, but I, all of the products that I use for that is all new, from Neutrogena. I will probably post a picture of that into my Instagram feed so if you guys want to check that out please feel free to look at look it up I will have all the information onto the side here so with that being said thank you guys for watching hope to see you guys next time thank you bye I hope you guys liked this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up okay thank you